started getting involved with the courts and the law and stuff when I was like nine, just like fighting, stealing. And then when I got older, it got worse things like breaking and entering and stuff. And I feel that if he was there, I, I might have been a different person. You've been to the penitentiary. Your son has been in jail. It is time to at least teach him the things that you knew and that you know to keep him from going back to jail. Okay, well, how old is he? He's 17. <laughs> He's in the high school? Yes. Well, she gets to go to the prom. <laughs> Welcome to Forgive or Forget. My first guest, Terry Ward, has a long list of problems with her cousin's boyfriend. But first and foremost, she says he's been living a lie since the day they met. She's here today to throw a wrench into their romance. Terry, come on out with you, too. Terry. Hi, Mother Love. Not Terry. We have your cousin Shaka backstage in our green room, but she can't hear anything that we're discussing now. What is wrong with her boyfriend, Terry? Well, first of all, Mother Love, he's a scrub. He don't have a job. And I know scrub. <laughs> Scrubbers guy can't get no love. <laughs> My cousin has four kids. He don't have a job to support her or her kids. He don't do nothing for her. He lies to her. And Whoa. I try to tell her he's lying. She don't believe me. You know, and blood sticking in water. She should believe me. What is he lying about? His age. He's lying about his age? Yes. Okay, well, how old is he? He's 17. <laughs> But you, but, but you said your cousin has four children. Yes. She's been busy. How old is she? Eight thousand. She's twenty-eight. <laughs> and her husband, that the father's kids by, he's tw well. She's twenty-seven. He's twenty-eight. So that's the oldest man she ever been with. Oh, so she likes younger she men. She loves younger guys. They always been younger. When she came to visit me. But she seventeen. That's really not a young guy. That's like a child. That's, that's a, a boy. Baby. <laughs> She likes young men, you know, some older women like younger men, but I think he's a bit too, he's way too young for her, and she's got four children. He's still in high school. He can't do nothing for her. He's in the high school? Yes. Well, she gets to go to the prom. <laughs> okay, well, let's bring him out. Let, he's here with us. Come do join us, Mr. Boyfriend Chris. Come on out here. Okay. First of all, how long have you been dating Shaka? Um, we've been dating like five or six months. Five or six months. So five or six months, you felt like it was okay to lie about your age. She doesn't. Does she know that you're seventeen? No. How old? Is she, how old has she told? How old have you told her I you are? I was nineteen. <laughs> You know, we've got Chris's Aunt Lily with us today. Oh. Do stand up. This is Aunt Lily. Hello, Aunt Lily. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Aunt Lily, yes. how do you feel about the relationship that this 17-year-old well, young man is involved with this older girl? I woman? liked it because I thought it was a relationship that he, Chaka, she liked it him, and he likes Chaka. And they seem to get along to me, and it's nobody's business but their their own. It's their life. And lady, young lady, you can tend to your own business and stay out of everybody else's business. Business. For a matter of because 
she could teach him things that he don't know. Well, I guess so. But Aunt Lily, Aunt Lily, now, now this is me and you. Mm-hmm. And, and, and Mother Love's gonna be straight, okay? All right. Aunt Lily, he couldn't even come here if it weren't for you. He had to come with us. He is a minor. That's Wait, he is a minor. He has to come with a legal guardian or a parent. Uh-huh. He couldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. So you telling me it's okay for your 17-year-old yes, nephew I, I, to be with this adult I woman? I think it's all right. It's just like I say, it's his life. Well, well that's what you said, Aunt Lily. Personally, I disagree with you. But that's not, but you know what? Not my fault. We all have our different opinions you know, about that's things. That's right. Whatever floats your boat. You're responsible for him, but you know what? The whole question is not about you, it's not about me, it's not even about you, Terry. It's going to be about how Shaka Uh is going to respond to the fact that you are only 17 years old. Uh All right, thank you very much. Shaka, let's get her set up so she can hear your demand. Shaka. Hi, Mother Love. Hi. How now, are you? Shaka, your cousin Terry has something she wants to say to you. Terry, what do you want to tell your cousin? Well, Shaka, the reason why I brought you here today is to tell you to leave babies alone. And I want to end your relationship because you're too cute and you have more sense than to be with a baby. Who do you think you are butting in my relationship and your husband is 10 years younger than you? But when I met him, but he's he still a baby me though. And my kids. He's still a baby. He don't even do nothing for you. He don't have a job. You have four kids. What can he do? Nothing. My husband got me a house, got me a car. He's doing for me. He ain't doing nothing for you. What? Just, a, just hold on to your BBDs, everybody. <laughs> Shaka, you've heard what your cousin Terry is demanding from you. But before we take our break, Chris, isn't there something you want to tell Shaka? Well, boo, um, it's like this. I man, I've been lying to you about my age. I'm not really 19, I'm 17. Okay, now we'll be taking that break. <laughs> and when we come back, we'll find out if you're gonna walk through that door. Oh, we will be right back. You don't wanna miss it. been to the penitentiary. Your son has been in jail. It is time to at least teach him the things that you knew and that you know to keep him from going back to jail. And you can work together to do that. Last week it was Aunt Mabel's chicken. Week before was Granny's. Two pounds chicken, quarter cup breadcrumbs, a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch. Tonight, it's all me. Ranch chicken. Hidden Valley Smart tube technology. Why didn't they think of this sooner? You see, the smart tube reaches the bottom, so you can spray every last drop. Absolutely uh, like it. <laughs> my bottle! My eagle! Only Clorox gives you every last... Satisfied with just getting by. I like to get ahead. And that's why I carry the prepaid Visa Rush Card. I get my pay deposited directly to my Rush Card. So I never pay check cashing fees, ever. And I get access to my money up to two days early, which comes in handy. Plus, my prepaid Visa Rush Card makes it so easy for me to pay bills and shop online. You can use your Rush Card to get cash or check your balance at over 23,000 MoneyPass ATMs nationwide with no fees. And I can use it everywhere Visa debit cards are accepted. Why just get by when you can get ahead? Get your Rush Card right now and get up to $9.95 with activation. That's right, up to $9.95. Call 1-877-318-6383 or go to RushCard.com now and use promo code POWER. 1-877-318-6383. Limited time offer. Don't delay. Hi, I'm Joey Fatone. And as a member of the musical group NSYNC, there's a side of me that most people weren't aware of. Now, you know why people don't know me like this? One word. 
Bosley. Only Bosley combines the latest in medical science with state-of-the-art techniques in hair artistry. It's 100% natural, 100% real, 100% your own permanent hair. This is my own growing hair that I can comb, cut, style, do whatever I want with. And here's one of the best things about Bosley. It's affordable on almost anyone's budget. Call or go online for your free, no obligation, self-evaluation kit. This free kit is an absolute must for anyone losing their hair. Plus, call in the next six minutes and we'll even send you this $250 gift certificate. We can't change genetics, but now we can do something about it. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. The information is free. So choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call now. I don't think Shaka should dump her man. Terry just needs to mind her own business. Welcome back. Terry Ward thinks her cousin Shaka is robbing the cradle. She's demanding that Shaka ditch her younger man, her boyfriend, Chris today. It may have helped her cause that Chris just admitted to being two years younger than he has led Shaka to believe. Well, Terry, now when you go to that door and see if your cousin has agreed to leave Chris for someone closer to her own age, go take your place in front of the door, Terry. All right, Terry Ward, let's open that door. What, okay, so do you understand what this means, Chris? Mm-hmm. Well, you tell him. You tell him, Shaka. Chris, oh. we friends. We could be good friends, but you lied to me, betrayed my trust. Therefore, I have to move on. And Terry, I'm sorry for not believing you. Are you gonna mess with older guys now? you and Chris really liked it one another. <laughs> I really did. He's 17. Cause you so over through over him and he's so over through over you. Right. Now y'all just talking like that on this show. Right. But when y'all get off of the show y'all be back together again. Yeah. Is that true? No, not at all. Oh. What, what's, are, I mean, are you serious? You I'm realize serious. he is 17 years old. I realize that. He's it, in high school. He's, old, he's young enough to be my son. Exactly. So, okay, but well, wait, wait. If he were 19, it would have been okay, but he's 17, so if, that... If he was a 19, he'd be of legal age, then it would be okay. Okay. But right now, it's not, so... Right. Oh, we have a few questions. Yes, sir, stand up. Nice shirt. Thank you. I just wanted to know, did you all have sex? Oh. <laughs> They call that rape. That's statutory, isn't that rape? No, we've never had sex. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll take your word for that. I'll take we've, your word for that. We've been friends for a while, but we just started becoming closer, like within the last month. So no, it hasn't gone that far yet. Good, that's good. If you hadn't came today, and your cousin wouldn't have brought you here to find out that Chris has been lying to you, would you would have gotten intimate with him? Definitely. Oh. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> I was just wondering, how did you two meet to begin with? Friends, family. And you could not look at him and tell that, I mean, you look at him. He looks like a kid. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Chris, through all of this, you really haven't said anything. This is somebody that you obviously care for. And she has said to you, you lied, my trust is broken. What's going through your head? Well, I feel like this. Um, I want to apologize to you for that, you know, because I wasn't right. And um, I really I really loved you a lot. And um, I care about you. 
wish we could just like talk about this a little bit more. Maybe in a couple years from now. Well, even when you love someone, it is absolutely imperative that you can be trusted in any kind of a relationship. When you start building a relationship on lies, eventually, son, it's just going to crumble and fall. And you see what's happening. I hope you learn to be truthful. And it's okay to be 17. It's all right to be 17. You're going to be an adult really, really soon. And the years are going to just fly by. Wait until you're an adult. I appreciate you taking time to share your story. Thank you all very much. We'll be right back. Our father's been in prison for 13 years. We never had a father figure. He's been out for six months now, and we've only seen him once. He better come out of that green room today, or we want him out of our lives for good. I've been thinking we ought to do something in the spirit of Easter. Like what? It's a basket full of fun with Fat Albert's Extraordinary Easter Special. Just get the task I do fill up a basket. Put some spring in your step and bounce with the gang. Grab the rabbit! Don't let him get away! Hey, hey, hey! Let's do it the Easter way! With Fat Albert's Extraordinary Easter Special. Today, 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central on the New Bounce TV Our Way. can see clearly now the rain is gone. Non-drowsy children's Claritin relieves kids' worst allergy symptoms for 24 hours. Plus, it's the number one pediatrician-recommended non-drowsy brand. Gonna be a bright, sunshiny day. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number. Let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. Call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Ensure the water you drink at home is truly clean for your family. Use the certified Pure Faucet Filtration System. The multiple layer filters are certified to reduce contaminants others could leave behind, starting at just $20. Try Pure Faucet Filters today. My feet felt so heavy at the end of the day. They used to get really tired. Until I started gelling. I got Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel Insoles. When they're in my shoes, my feet and legs feel less tired. It's like walking on a wave. Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel Insoles. I'm a believer. Do you have a structured settlement from a settled lawsuit? Are you currently getting regular payments from an insurance company for that settlement? To turn those payments into a lump sum payment now, call CBC Settlement Funding today. You can access all or just a portion of your settlement. To learn more about getting your money now, call us at 1-800-319-0267 for a free, no-obligation offer. Again, that's 1-800-319-0267. Attention, an important medical alert for renal failure patients given natural light or granule flow dry acid concentrate during dialysis. In June 2012, the FDA issued the highest class of recall for natural light and granule flow dry acid concentrate products because many patients experience cardiopulmonary arrest, cardiovascular death, sudden cardiac death, low blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, and irregular heart rhythm after being administered the medication. Granuflow is the most commonly prescribed dry acid dialysis product used in treatment centers across America, and it is estimated that the new recall affects more than 400,000 current patients. If you experienced a cardiac event after receiving natural light or granuflow dry acid concentrate during dialysis treatment, you may be entitled to compensation. By law, your time frame to file a claim is limited, so call the attorneys of Parliament and Associates now for your free consultation. 1-800-833-7579. That's Parliament and Associates at 1-800-833-7579. Call now. Welcome back. My next guests say that their father has never been a part of their lives. They're here today to give him one last chance to start acting like a dad or stay out of their lives forever. Please welcome Jessica and Nora Farley. Come out and join us, please. Jessica Noah. Now, your father's listening from our green room, and we'll talk to him soon. But tell us, why hasn't he been a part of your life? 
<laughs> he's been gone for 13 years. He left when I was four. He ain't never, when we, when we were little, he used to beat us, beat my mom, treat us like we was crap, treat us like we was just scum. And, you know, he left. Now he's out and he don't, you know, he don't want nothing to do with us. You Wait, know, he, he's out. Where he has he been? Prison. Oh. Well, that's kind of hard to be a dad when you're in jail. What's it been like for you, Noah, not having your father around? It's been hard. I mean, I feel that, you know, it's, it's been hard to get along. I feel that if he was around, I wouldn't have been in as much trouble as I was. You know, I started getting involved with the courts and the law and stuff when I was like nine. Just like this fighting, stealing, and then when I got older, it got worse things like breaking and entering and stuff. And I feel that if he was there, I, I might have been a different person. So, now what about you, Jessica? Tell me about what it's been like for you. It hurts, you know, I, um, when he went away, before he went away, things weren't great, you know, like Noah said, he, he wasn't a, a, a perfect husband or father, he would hit us and, and hit my mom, and it was violent all the time, and eventually he got sent to prison when I was about six, and he was gone, and me and him wrote to each other pretty frequently. We wrote probably every two, three weeks. And uh, we kept in touch and he would promise, you know, to be a better, better person, a better father when he got out. And now that he's been out, he hasn't, it, to me, he hasn't made an effort. I see friends and, and children playing with their fathers and it hurts. And I see my daughter playing with her father and it hurts. I didn't have that and I want it, you know, desperately. Harold. Do you hear your children? Yes, I do, mother love. So, now, why do you tell them that you're, 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 you're coming to see them now that you're out of jail? You have your freedom, and you were telling them that you were going to be a better person once you got out. Now you're out. Why is it so difficult for you to keep your promises to them? Well, I have no job. I'm a convicted felon. It's hard to get a job. I have no transportation. That and being a convicted felon makes it almost impossible to get any kind of, any kind of work. Um, we live about a half an hour apart, you know, and um, it's it's hard to get there. Uh, the one time I got a call. Say something. Uh, uh, wait a minute before you say something, uh, Harold. Yes. Uh, I'm from Cleveland. Yes, ma'am. I know how big that city is. You can get anywhere in Cleveland on the RTA. On the RTA. On the RTA. You're right. Anywhere. You can get anywhere on the RTA. And let me the tell you something, thing. they allow convicted felons on the public transportation. Oh, you, they, they sure do, but you got to still pay. So you, so you have no, you're saying to us and your children that you have absolutely no marketable skills, that you cannot go out and get any kind of job. They want, I can't get a job without transportation, and half the time I've been to, I've been to uh, temporary agencies that tell me, oh, you're a convicted felon? Sorry, we can't help you. Well, you know, I, um, that's a shame, but you should have kind of thought about that when you were breaking the law to go to jail. Yeah, right. Now, now, I do want to address with you because your, your son has said that when he remembers growing up that you weren't the perfect father, that you would hit them all the time. Is that true? You would hit their mom? Yep. Oh. Why should I deny it? I would, I would hope that you wouldn't. Part of getting better is to be able to face the truth about what you've done. Sure, you're right. I, Mother Love, I am an alcoholic addict. Not ex, I am. I will always be that way. I have been clean and sober October 10th, made three years. Okay, that's very good. So you are making progress. It's not easy, believe me, because I get frustrated not being able to get work. The fact remains that we really don't know each other, and I believe maybe that before I can be a father and a dad, maybe we need to be friends. Have you ever thought about that? Pardon me? Now go ahead, Noah. Wait, you, you two brought him here because you want something from him. This is your dad. You don't know him. Tell him what it is that you do want from him. You could tell him right there. Just tell him straight on. You know, I'm get, I want you to come be a man to your kids. Be a father. You quit lying. Quit saying you're going to do something and don't do it. You know, step up to the plate. If you can't do that, then 
That's it. I don't want nothing to do with you. No. Just a minute. Just a, just a minute. Hear what they have to say, Harold. I heard him. Go ahead, Jessica. Dad, I need you. You know, I have offered to come out and pick you up and take you home in a few days and my fiance is willing to have you come stay in our house you know I it, we're not gonna be able to build a relationship or a friendship or a mother or a father daughter thing if we can't find time to spend together and I can make this effort you know I can come get you I have offered to do that I need you I need you to step up and, and be there I need it now more than I need it uh, have ever needed it before now Harold hold your thoughts okay your children brought you here for a reason. Now, I just want to say this. It's amazing you can come all the way from Cleveland to New York to see them, but you can't go from Willoughby to Westlake or wherever it is you're going. You can tell me exactly what it is and tell your children what exactly you want to do as far as building a relationship. You just hold your thought. We'll be right back. I need you to know that you are an angel dropped out of heaven and I'm so sorry because you deserve so much better. But when we got married, you knew exactly the situation I was in, but you chose to be by my side and you've been there. I just want to know, would you still be there? When you sat down to dinner with anticipation, not hesitation. When you didn't dread bedtime because of heartburn. When damage to your esophagus caused by acid reflux disease wasn't always on your mind, that's when you knew Nexium was the prescription medication for you. Because for over a decade, Nexium has provided many, just like you, with 24-hour relief from heartburn and helped heal acid-related erosions in the lining of the esophagus. And now the prescription Nexium you know can be delivered directly to your door with Nexium Direct. Talk to your doctor to see if Nexium is right for you. There is risk of bone fracture and low magnesium levels. Side effects may include headache, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. If you have persistent diarrhea, contact your doctor right away. Other serious stomach conditions may exist. Avoid if you take Lipidogrel. For 24-hour support, automatic refills, and free home delivery, enroll at purplepill.com. It's the Nexium you know, now delivered. Are you tired of paying cable and satellite companies just to watch your favorite broadcast network shows? Why spend hundreds of dollars a year for cable and satellite only channels when you can watch broadcast television for free with the Clear TV HD digital antenna? All you have to do is plug in Clear TV and let your television instantly receive top rated network shows, local news and weather, sporting events and more all for free. That's right, free digital TV. Thanks to a federal government mandate, all broadcasters are required to transfer transmit a digital TV signal through the airwaves. Clear TV lets you bypass cable and satellite to bring network shows directly to your television so you can enjoy crystal clear local and national free HD TV. Clear TV is amazing. If we're just off the coast here in the Gulf of Mexico receiving free network broadcast HD TV, imagine all the free HD TV shows you'll receive at home. Basic cable and satellite services can cost you up to $80 a month. That's $960 a year and almost $10,000 over a 10 year period. Why pay that much money for extra channels you may never even watch? But with Clear TV, there's no contracts, no monthly fees, and no unexpected rate increases. Just free HD TV that can look as good or better than cable and satellite. Call or go online now to get your Clear TV HD digital antenna for just $19.95. I took the antenna out of the box, plugged it into my TV, and in just a few minutes, I was watching free network broadcast HD TV. Clear TV's compact design is perfect for an apartment, ideal for a college dorm room, and lets you watch Watch TV in as many rooms as you like without paying additional monthly fees. Order right now and we'll give you a second Clear TV antenna for free. Just pay separate processing and handling. That's two Clear TV HD digital antennas of $40 value, all for only $19.95. Not available in stores. Order now. I can't believe I get all these channels for free. And in HD, Clear TV is for real. father should be more than just a pen pal to them. He needs to be a dad to them. Welcome back. 
No one Jessica Farley's dad was in prison for most of their lives. They say that now that he's out, he wants nothing to do with them. They're here today to give him one last chance. Either he walks out that door prepared to be a devoted dad, or they're writing him off for good. All right, Noah, Jessica, it's time to find out if your dad's ready to be just that, your dad. Go take your places in front of the door. All right, Noah and Jessica Farley, let's open that door. There she So, Harold, you're ready to be dad now. Yes, Talk to I your been children. for a long time. Talk to your children now. I'm sorry, guys. You know, it's been, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy at all for me, not for you, you know. I was a jerk, wasn't I? I see. For a long time. I beat on their mom, you know, for no reason half the time, you know. A lot of times I whooped them for no reason. And, uh, you know, I have an extended family now, and I don't touch those kids, you know. And that's probably why, all the time that I had to think about things, you know. And the one time that I had a car since I've been out, I had it for five days, and it got rear-ended and totaled. So it's always something. You know, but I'm not going to let it... Uh, Frustrate me. Now that's you know, the ticket. I'm not, I'm not going. <laughs> whatever it takes, whatever it takes, I will not go back to the penitentiary. Yeah. Now that's good to hear. Yeah, we have a few questions and comments for you. Yes. I, I really hope that you're sincere because your children look like they really need you. And there's no excuse. If your daughter was willing to come and drive to pick you up, there was no excuse. So I really hope you mean what you're saying. I do. Because these children need you. Uh, this is for the children. Uh, well, you look like young adults to me. Now, it seems as if you're defining your father as a daddy, but you're grown now. And what would your response, I mean, what do you expect him to do now? I mean, he can't bring back yesterday. You know, both of you need to forgive each other and then redefine your relationship of what, what is a father right now in your life? What do you want him to do? I want him to be there. I, I want somebody to, to talk to, you know, when I have problems. Tell him. Tell him. I need you, you know. It hurts. Jess, you shared the, you've shared some things with me since I've been out that you haven't shared with your mother, you know. And, and, and that, that made me feel good because I thought, geez, you know, that you should be talking to your mom. And I asked you, now, I can't talk to mom about that. But I can. I feel comfortable talking to you. Mm -hmm. And all that time I was gone, you know, all that time I was gone, I, it makes me wonder, how are you going to feel comfortable talking to me about anything? About anything. Because I, I can look past all that stuff. I'm willing to, you know. I, I have to. It's the same with me. Everybody yeah, needs a is. father, and I haven't had one, and I want one, you know. I didn't have a daddy. I, I had nobody to call daddy. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have somebody to go and, and romp in the leaves or something, you know. And I need it now. I need it. I'm here. It's the same with me, Dad. I just need somebody to talk to. Somebody, you know, because... You know, no, go I, ahead, Noah. I just need somebody to talk to, too. Somebody who I can do things with. You know, a buddy, man. Somebody who I can hang out with that's like, you know, I want a father. You know, I can't talk to mom about nothing. You know that. I can't talk to mom about hardly anything. Do you understand what they're asking from you? You know, it's, it's right like this lady said. You can't be their daddy, but you can be their father figure and learn to be their friend and learn who these people are that you helped bring into the world. 
You've been to the penitentiary. Your son has been in jail. It is time to at least teach him the things that you knew and that you know to keep him from going back to jail. And you can work together to do that. I just have one question for you, Harold. Your kids say, you talk to them a lot of times and they say, well, you know, you're gonna come, you're gonna show up, you're gonna come and see him, your daughter's off to take you back. Do you mean what you say now? Yeah. Do you believe what he says, Noah, Jessica? I, I do, to an extent. But, I mean, it's going to take a long time for me to ever be able to trust you again, Dad. And that's just how it is. I don't, I don't even know if I'll ever be able to trust you again. We could build a relationship, but trust might not even be a factor in there. But, you know, i got to tell you something, Noah. You cannot have a good, positive relationship when there's no trust. This is a place to start. This is where you start. And I'm going to. Start here. Never say never, son. I'm going to, but it ain't going to be easy. No. Now, did you hear me say... Oh, Noah, this is going to be a piece of cake. This is going to be a breeze. This is going to be the easiest thing in the world that you can do. This is very well, son, going to be the hardest relationship you ever had to work on. But if you really want it, and Harold, you want it, and Jessica, you want it, it will be worth it. Work on it. I appreciate you taking the time to share your story. And I really hope you stay together and stay in communication with each other. Thank you very much. For we'll be right back. Man of her dreams is in for a rude awakening. My husband has no idea what I'm about to confess. He's not going to like it, and it may just break his heart. But I have to come clean today. I saw this red, blistery rash, and I felt this horrible pain on one side of my back. I had 16 magic shows to do. I didn't know how I was going to be able to do these shows with this kind of pain that I was in. I told my wife what I had. She went on the internet and said, I think you have shingles. If you had chicken pox, the shingles virus is already inside you. One in three people will get shingles in their lifetime. I could feel the shock in my back, and it was like, wow, it's got to get better than this or I'm in big trouble. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist. Everything your family touches during the day sticks with them. Make sure the germs they bring home don't stick around. Clorox disinfecting products kill germs that live on surfaces for up to 48 hours. You handle life, Clorox handles the germs. Hi, I'm Joey Fatone, and as a member of the musical group In Sync, there's a side of me that most people weren't aware of. Now, you know why people don't know me like this? One word. Bosley. Only Bosley combines the latest in medical science with state-of-the-art techniques in hair artistry. It's 100% natural, 100% real, 100% your own permanent hair. This is my own growing hair that I can comb, cut, style, do whatever I want with. And here's one of the best things about Bosley. It's affordable on almost anyone's budget. Call or go online for your free, no-obligation self-evaluation kit. This free kit is an absolute must for anyone losing their hair. Plus, call in the next six minutes, and we'll even send you this $250 gift certificate. We can't change genetics, but now we can do something about it. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. The information is free, so choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call now. The antipsychotic drug Risperdal has been associated with gynecomastia, a condition which causes males to grow breast tissue. If you are a male who took Risperdal as a minor, or you have a son who took Risperdal as a minor and developed breasts, call the Rely On Group right now. You may be entitled to a significant cash award. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. Call the Rely On Group at 800-953-3943. about our next story my husband thinks we have the perfect relationship he doesn't know how wrong he is if a relationship is based on trust ours is kind of off track he stuck by me through the roughest times and I've repaid him by lying to his face for over two years today I need to confess and I pray he'll forgive me hi Sylvia 
Hi, Mother Love. Now, Sylvia, we have your husband with us live backstage, but he can't hear anything we're talking about now. Sylvia, tell us what you did to him. First of all, I want to confess, Mother Love, that I'm from Buffalo, but I moved to Atlanta and I went home like five months ago. And um, my son's father found out I was in town and he came to my mother's house. He told me we were going to talk about my son. Instead, I told him, no, I'm not going to go. So he came back later that night and we were having our class reunion in, in the city that night. And he asked me to go there. So I said, okay, we can go to the reunion. I was with this man 17 years. We never made it to the reunion. Because? Because we went to the hotel where he worked and this, we were drinking and smoking, and smoking marijuana. marijuana. This is you and your ex. Me and my son's father. Son's father. Okay, we're you. talking, talking, talking. I stayed there like two, three hours. And at the end, he's trying to get frisky. Mm -hmm. So he kissed me. And he doesn't know that he kissed me. He kissed me, but I was strong enough not to go any further. I have never. There was nothing intimate, just a kiss. But that, that was too much because I have a husband. Oh, yes, Sylvia. Yes. That is too much. I you have it. a husband. Yes, yes, yes. Wait a minute. So you want to confess to your husband that he thought you went to a class reunion, but you hooked up with your ex and you... And you didn't go to the class reunion. He didn't even know of the reunion. So that's what you want to confess to your husband? That, that you and also that um, when he thought, like, we would put money aside outside of bill money, money that we, in case we run short of something else, we can go dip in there and get that money and do that with, like, go out to dinner or something. Right. Instead, I was using that money, still buying marijuana and drinking, and he didn't know. So within this three year span of our marriage, I stayed out two or three nights. And the reason I did is because I was drinking and smoking and I didn't want Andre to know this because I didn't know how he'd accept that. So what you're telling us is that all along you've been lying to your husband. You haven't stopped drinking or smoking. I have now. And, but at the time you no, had not. No, no. And you had a date with your ex, had him kissing on you, and you've been, t that's what you said, don't look one at me time, with those big brown God. eyes. One kiss. All it takes is one. Is one, that's right, okay. And you were literally stealing from one, you were stealing from yourself. Myself and him. Because if you, no, if you're stealing from your husband, you're stealing from yourself. Okay. To support your drinking mm -hmm. and your smoking. And how long have you been keeping this from him? Well... Two years. Okay, two years too, too long, long, Sylvia. It's time for you to turn around and tell your husband. Let's get him set up so he can hear your confession. Hello, Andre. How you doing, Mother Love? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Andre. Now, Andre, you know that your wife has something she needs to tell you. Yes, ma'am. All right, Sylvia. <laughs> it's time for you to face it and talk to your angel sent from heaven. Word. Andre, this is what happened. When I went home to Buffalo to see my sister when she was sick, I came by the house one time and tried to get me to leave with him, and I didn't. He came back that night. We were having a class reunion, and I left with him and went to his job site, which was at a hotel where we were doing something you asked me not to do anymore and that was a condition of us getting married and I did that anyway we were drinking liquor and smoking marijuana and as a result of drinking and smoking marijuana he kissed me one time there was no sex I did not stay the night there but that's what happened also when I was telling you I was sending money to my son I was not sending that money to my son. I was spending that money on marijuana and alcohol, still drinking and smoking when you thought it was all over. But I need you to know that you are an angel dropped out of heaven, and I'm so sorry because you deserve so much better. But when we got married, you knew exactly the situation I was in, but you chose to be by my side, and you've been there. I just want to know, would you still be there? Okay. You have... Woo, Andre, that's a lot for you to have just found out. The fact that you just learned that the woman you love has been lying to your face for most of your married life. You take a few moments to think things over. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll find out if you can forgive her for all of the things that she's been lying and all of the deceit. We'll be right back.
Are you tired of paying cable and satellite companies just to watch your favorite broadcast network shows? Why spend hundreds of dollars a year for cable and satellite only channels when you can watch broadcast television for free with the Clear TV HD digital antenna? All you have to do is plug in Clear TV and let your television instantly receive top rated network shows, local news and weather, sporting events and more all for free. That's right, free digital TV. Thanks to a federal government mandate, all broadcasters are required to transmit a digital TV signal through the airwaves. Clear TV lets you bypass cable and satellite to bring network shows directly to your television so you can enjoy crystal clear local and national free HD TV. Clear TV is amazing. If we're just off the coast here in the Gulf of Mexico receiving free network broadcast HD TV, Imagine all the free HD TV shows you'll receive at home. Basic cable and satellite services can cost you up to $80 a month. That's $960 a year and almost $10,000 over a 10 year period. Why pay that much money for extra channels you may never even watch? But with Clear TV, there's no contracts, no monthly fees, and no unexpected rate increases. Just free HD TV that can look as good or better than cable and satellite. Call or go online now to get your Clear TV HD digital antenna for just $19.95. I took the antenna out of the box, plugged it into my TV, and in just a few minutes, I was watching free network broadcast HD TV. Clear TV's compact design is perfect for an apartment, ideal for a college dorm room, and lets you watch Watch TV in as many rooms as you like without paying additional monthly fees. Order right now and we'll give you a second Clear TV antenna for free. Just pay separate processing and handling. That's two Clear TV HD digital antennas of $40 value, all for only $19.95. Not available in stores. Order now. I can't believe I get all these channels for free. And in HD, Clear TV is for real. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call U.S. Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits in the bottle of strips. Act now, and U.S. Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call U.S. Med today. You'll be glad you did. Attention, Actos users. Recent studies show that the diabetes drug Actos may increase your risk of bladder cancer. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with bladder cancer after taking Actos, call the Rely On Group now for a free legal consultation. You may be entitled to a cash settlement. There is absolutely no risk on your part. You don't owe us a penny unless we are successful. Call the Rely On Group at 800-979-2803. That's 800-979-2803. Welcome back. Sylvia Cavalier just confessed to her husband that she's been living a lie for two years. Sylvia, are you ready to find it if Andre, your self-proclaimed angel from heaven, is behind that door, and if he is, if he's willing to forgive you. Yes. Well, it's time to go take your place. So she ran running over there. <laughs> he better. You, I, why he better be? I'm, shut up, mother love. Okay, let's open. The, uh, come on now, because you think about what you've done to him. I have. Are That's you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Let's open that door then. <laughs> Hello, Angel. I mean, Andre. <laughs> this is not a laughing manner under any circumstances. No. What is going through your head? You walk through that door. You must love her. Yeah, I mean, that's my wife. I mean, I don't feel she really can't do too much that I really can't forgive her for. I mean, I'm hurt. Tell her that you I mean, are I'm hurt. Because you know how I feel about the situation, but uh, I understand the problems you've been going through, but uh, you just need to open up and talk to me a little bit more. 
when you be feeling like that, instead of running out, let's sit down and write a song. That's right. I that. So you my baby, you know I ain't going nowhere. Are you sure? We have a few questions, yes. I would just like to ask you, have you ever thought about going and getting some type of counseling? Um, it will help. Good question. Andre can't do everything for you. There's some things that you really need to do for yourself. And the two of you really need to go into counseling and work your problems out. You need that help. And you know Don't what? abandon it. I'm going to tell you why I never did, because that was another issue. He has also told me to go and get counseling. The one thing that stops me from getting counseling is that growing up, I always believed people that get counseling has a mental problem, so it stops me. But now from talking to him, he was like, if I don't think you're mentally then get the help. He has been trying to get me to get counseling. And another thing, I went and tried to get counseling. Them people let me go that same day, never followed up on me. Oh, wait, me. excuse me, I gotta correct you. It's not being mentally oh, if you no, need that therapy. Wrong. That was the, that's the wrong choice of okay. words. Right. Because that's something that people cannot help. Even, mm -hmm. even when you have a mental illness, mm -hmm. that's why you go to therapy. That's why you talk to the doctors. If you had, a, if you had diabetes, if you, if you had a blood disorder, oh you would go to the doctor. I don't know why people are so bent out of shape about getting help if they have a mental disorder. I, I, I don't understand that. Yeah, Hi, Mother Hello. Love. My question is, if you knew that you had a good job, you had a good husband, and you was already having problems with your son and whatnot, why would you risk doing anything further to damage yourself as far as problems or concern to go use marijuana and then stay out and you know like constantly lie to him it's good that he was able to forgive you but in order to forgive you like the lady said up front you have to go to a program counseling something do something so you won't continue to do that Be why because what I want to know thank you that was very nice mm -hmm. what I want to know is what will stop you Sylvia I need help. I know this. I know this, Mother Love, I've been smoking marijuana since I was like 16. Mm -hmm. So it's been an ongoing thing. Can so I, I knew I, once I got with Andre, it wasn't going to stop like that. I should have took his advice and went to see somebody. Can but I he, ask you, yes. not to cut you off, mm -hmm. but can I ask you, you keep saying that you've been going through such a difficult time with your mm -hmm. son and it's very mm -hmm. deep. Do you mind sharing that with us? No, I don't mind. I'll okay. share it enough for you to understand. Please. My son was an A student. I have a college degree. I've been, I mean, I've always worked and he turned. One day he came home, he wasn't the same child. And from there he started hanging with the peers. Different peers just got him in trouble and went one day they sentenced my son to 41 years. Oh. And that is like they murdered my child. So I, I lost it. But my problem and my fault, where I know it's my fault, is bringing Andre in my life at that time. I don't know so much if that was a fault or a problem, Sylvia. I think what it is that you didn't look at Andre for who he was, and that was a blessing in disguise, yes. because he was somebody who was there, not like I'm talking, like, 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 you know, like you're not there, but to be there for you, to help you get through this. He did. You know? And you're talking about 41 years. It must have been something awfully bad that he did. No. Peer pressure. He was an accessory. He wouldn't snitch, so they so, put all the time on him. And, and is he still away? Yes. For 41 years. Mother. That's got to... I could not imagine <laughs> what you are going through. So instead of running to hide behind drugs and alcohol, here was a man sent to you to run not behind him, not up under him, but to run to him. To him. Exactly. To help exactly. you. You know what I think it is, Sylvia? I think you've gotten a second chance, and that chance came in your husband. He loves you openly and honestly. Give him enough respect to let him have his love come to you, and don't push it away. I appreciate you sharing your story. I really wish you the best. Hold on to one another. We'll let you talk to our counselor, okay? Right. And things will be okay if you make them okay. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Right. We'll be back right Thank after you. this.
I've been thinking. Verizon Fios has the network that makes small business owners small business ready. Now get new faster internet speeds for the same great price and reliable phone with 99.9% .9 network reliability starting at $69.99 a month with a two-year price guarantee. Call to get a firm price quote of your total monthly charges in writing up front. Call 1-888-777-7777.